Hey everyone, it's I Talk Apple. This is the first in a little mini series of videos I'm doing about using your Mac more efficiently and improving your workflow. Um, this video is going to be focusing on the desktop, and these tips are going to be a lot more basic. Um, so, this is really good if you're a newer Mac user. Um, yeah, so don't get mad at me for being all simple. Anyways, the next video, by the way, is going to cover like minimalism. So this video is just some basic tips. Um, yeah, I'm going to start with the dock. So the dock by default is found at the bottom of your screen. You can use it to store shortcuts to applications, folders, URLs, the finders located in the dock along with the trash. So what I've noticed, um, with new Mac users and a lot of experienced Mac users as well is they store like every single application that they have installed on the Mac in their dock which isn't really a great idea because it kind of defeats the purpose of the dock. The dock is there for like quick access to applications that, they, that you use often, right? So I recommend storing applications that you use on a daily basis in your dock. That's what I do. You can see what I have in my dock. I'll just quickly scroll through it for you. And yeah, so the left side is for applications. If you're a new Mac user, by the way, um, just remember that when you drag an icon to the dock, it's just a shortcut. If you drag it out of the dock, it does not delete the application. It just removes the shortcut from the dock. So um, the dock is really useful. When an application is running in your dock, you actually get a few more options that some of you might not be aware about. Um, for example, in Safari, if I've got several windows open, just let's say they were all the different websites, you can right click on the icon and select um, which window you want to be the active window. Another application, mail, if you right click on mail, you get the um, get new mail option, you can compose a new message, and you can also compose a new note. Um, so each application has different options depending on what the application does. Another thing is applications have drag and drop support, or many of them do. So I'll create a folder on my desktop, and if I drag it into the mail icon, it automatically creates a new message with that folder as an attachment. This is a lot easier than going to Finder and then, well, it's a lot easier than clicking the attach button and then searching for the folder. You can access Expose from the dock. So if I click and hold on the Safari icon in the dock, um, it does Expose with just Safari windows. So I can see every window that I have open in Safari and then decide which one I want to be viewing. So the dock is definitely really useful. On the right side of the dock, so on the right side of this little separator thing, you can store folders and URLs. So I have my applications folder in the dock. This creates what's called a stack. So if you do want to have access to every application that you own, you can do it. Um, I just recommend making a stack instead of putting each icon separately in the dock. So if I click this, I can scroll through every application that's on my computer. Um, you can change the view of the stack. You right click and you can change what it's sorted by and how you view the content. So an example of this is my documents folder. I've got a lot of documents, lots of subfolders and folders within those subfolders. So this is the list view. And so let's say I go to school, then I can go to um, computer science, and I can go to like array or whatever, and then I can click on my homework or whatever. Um, so that's a lot easier than opening my finder window, going to documents, going to school, and then going to computer science and finding it. It's a lot faster. And then the download stack, I actually have this as automatic. So since I don't have many downloads right now, it's in what's called stack view. You could see the icons of the documents and folders are stacked um, above each other. But once I have a bunch of downloads, it'll look more like this, the grid view. Um, and then the final feature I'm gonna show you with keeping stuff in the dock 
is URL shortcuts. I'm on Facebook right now. I visit Facebook daily. And so it might be a good idea if you visit a website all the time and it's not your homepage to keep a shortcut in the dock. So I'm gonna drag this URL down to the dock and it creates a little shortcut. So you can see right there, if I click it, it launches Facebook. And this is really useful for using like Google Docs um, because it would almost be like having its own little application in your dock, even though it's just like a shortcut to the website. Also, quick tip, if you wanna um, access options for the dock easily, you can just right click on the dock and then you've got your hiding, magnification, the position on the screen so I can move it to the left. Um, and you can change some other options. Plus you can access the doc preferences from there. Now let's go over keeping files and folders on the desktop. I personally, I might keep a few, but I usually don't keep any, um, I don't store anything on the desktop itself. So let me show you what I mean by that. If I create a new folder, it's on my desktop right now, I can open the finder and then if I select the desktop folder here, you can see this untitled folder is here because it is actually stored in my desktop. So I'm gonna delete that. Um, when I want really quick access to a folder and I actually do want it on my desktop, I don't actually store the folder on the desktop, I create an alias. So what I mean by that is, let's go to my documents and I'm gonna create an alias of this school folder. So to do that, you just right click and then hit make alias. So it's called school 10 alias. I'm gonna rename that to school. And now I'm gonna drag this to my desktop. So an alias is simply a shortcut to a folder. It's not a copy um, because that would take up twice the amount of space. That would be stupid. Um, it's simply a shortcut. So if I open this school, you see, I named it school, but when I click it, it opens up school 10, which you can see in the path here at the bottom of the finder window is located under my document. So it's simply a shortcut, nothing more than that. If I um, drag a document into this folder, I'm really putting it into the school 10 folder. However, when you, um, what I just did there, I just um, dragged the alias to the trash it's just deleting the shortcut. It's not deleting the actual folder. So what I do often is I actually have a folder called, let's see if I can find it. I have a screenshot folder. I called it screenies. What I do is I usually make an alias. I put it on my desktop. I often change the icon so it looks pretty. Then whenever I take a screenshot of something, you know when you take a screenshot, command shift four, and you take a screenshot, it saves it on your desktop. Well, what I do is I just, I'll drag it to my screenies alias, and then I can open that, and it really just opens the screenies folder within my document. So I like taking screenshots or downloading screenshots of Macs that I like. Like, I don't know. I like looking at how people have their Macs set up with their customization and stuff. So like I said at the beginning of this video, this was just um, the first in a mini series, very basic video, but um, my next video is gonna be a little cooler and more creative because it's about minimalism. And I think I have some useful tips in the next one. So check that out when it's up. Um, don't forget to follow me on Twitter if you're interested in like when I'm uploading videos and like more about my life, <laughs> like when I'm playing golf or something. And um, I also have a Tumblr, italkapple.tumblr.com. It's a little blog. I don't post too often, but I do post. And also check out my Flickr. I'll have links to everything in the description because I've taken some pictures with my new camera. Anyways, thanks for watching. Sorry if this was boring because it was basic, but I think this is really useful for newer Mac users. And yeah. So thanks for watching, leave comments below, check out the links below, check out my video to um, keeping your desktop clutter free because that's also really useful. And then eventually when my next video is up, 
I'll have a link to the next one in this little series here. So yeah, feel free to click on one of them.